Auto exposure bracketing is easy on Canon cameras. All it takes is a couple button presses and you can be sure you'll get the right exposure and have all the images you need for perfect HDR. Now let's get into how to set auto exposure bracketing on your Canon camera. I'll be using a 6D Mark II to demonstrate. If you have a different Canon camera, your buttons and settings might be in slightly different places. There are two ways to set auto exposure bracketing. The simplest way is by using the Q menu found by pressing the white Q button on the back of your camera. There are four steps. Let's look. First, select the Q button on the back of your camera. Second, select Exposure Compensation, AEB setting, near the top left of your screen. I already have it selected. Third, scroll the top scroll wheel to activate auto exposure bracketing. Keep scrolling in one third stop increments until you reach the desired level of bracketing. I have it set to one stop bracketing. To turn off auto exposure bracketing, simply scroll in the opposite direction until the lines disappear. The second way to turn on auto exposure bracketing is through the main menu. There are also four steps. First, select the menu button on the back of your camera. Then select exposure compensation AEB setting under camera settings. Mine is under camera settings on page two. Select that. And third, much like on the Q menu, scroll the top scroll wheel to activate auto exposure bracketing. It also moves in one third stop increments. Now it is set on my camera to a one stop increments auto exposure bracketing. You turn it off in the same way as in the Q menu, scrolling that top scroll wheel until the lines disappear. If you want more control over how the auto exposure bracketing works on your camera, you can change it in the custom function menu. It's fairly simple, let's get into it. First navigate to the custom function menu, then select custom function one, exposure. Now you can change the exposure level increments to either one third stop or one half stop. Navigate a little bit further, you can turn on or off auto bracketing auto cancel, which means when you turn off your camera, when it's enabled, auto exposure bracketing will turn off. And when it's disabled, auto exposure bracketing will stay on even when you turn off your camera. I like to keep it enabled. Then you can change the order of the auto exposure bracketing. So I have it set to first the correct exposure, then the underexposure, then the overexposure. You can have that set however you like. And then here's the big one, the number of shots you take. You might want to take more shots if you're not sure about getting the correct exposure or if you need more for an HDR image. I'll leave it at three though. Now that we have auto exposure bracketing set, we can take the picture. You can do this in a couple of ways. Cameras are normally set in single frame advance mode. That means one press of the shutter button takes one picture. So when auto exposure bracketing is set, you need to press the shutter button three times to take all of your exposure bracketed shots. There's another way to do this. You can change to continuous advance mode. To do this, press the drive button, then use that top scroll wheel to find the picture, which is three little pictures. Then you're in continuous advance mode, and then you simply press the shutter button once, and all three shots will be taken. If you're taking auto exposure bracketed images for the purpose of HDR images to be created later, you don't need to. You can take in-camera HDR images on Canon cameras. This can be done in manual, shutter priority, aperture priority, picture mode, and scene mode. It's a little bit different in scene mode than all the rest, so we'll start there. So first, turn your dial to SCN mode, then press the Q menu on the back of your screen, then choose your scene. It may be on one of these other scenes, but move it to HDR backlight control and select it. Then go ahead and take your picture. When HDR backlight control scene mode is selected in SCN mode, your camera will automatically choose your settings and take three bracketed shots, which we just saw there, when you press the shutter button. It will then combine the images in camera to create a single HDR image. Only the HDR image is saved. This mode is simple to use, but gives minimal control. It tends to use ISO for bracketing, which can result in grainy photo. I recommend using one of the other modes because of this. To take in-camera HDR images in one of the other modes, start by selecting the mode you want to take it in. I'll go to Manual. Next, press the Menu button. 
then navigate to HDR mode under camera settings. Mine's on page three. Select that and then select adjust dynamic range. It will be set default to disable HDR and you'll want to change it to either auto, 1 EV, 2 EV, or 3 EV. This refers to the number of stops of light that are included in your auto bracketed images used. We'll go to 1 EV. Next go to effect. I'll leave it at natural but there are other ones which change the look of the final image using color profiles. Next is continuous HDR. You can select either one shot only or every shot. If you select every shot, every shot you take will be an HDR image. If you choose one shot only, it'll revert back to normal shooting after you take your HDR image. Then auto image align. This automatically aligns the images you take to make a better HDR shot if it's enabled. So we'll leave it enabled. Then once all those settings have been set, simply take your HDR shot. It takes a moment and eventually it'll show up on screen. And that's how you do in-camera HDR shots and the other modes.